everyone, it's John from Ride Up State, and today I want to talk about the number one mistake that I frequently make on DoorDash, and you probably do the same thing too, and that is accepting orders while you're driving. Now, there are three main reasons that you don't want to accept an order while you're driving. And I'm not even talking about safety issues here. I'm talking about related to the DoorDash model and accepting a decent order. And I'm going to talk about those right now. So the first reason you don't want to accept an order while you're driving is it's very hard to read all the information on the screen if you're also trying to pay attention to the road. Even if you're stopped at a stoplight, you only have so much time to process that information. It's really easy to be taken in by that big dollar sign number, but who knows? Uh, that dollar sign may actually not be the best order for you at that time. If you're looking at an order of $12 to $17, $20 and up, man, you're real tempted to take that order. But there's a lot of information that you can't see or pay attention to while you're driving. So if you're able to pull off, it's a good idea to pull off and check the information. Because what typically happens? You accept the order you eventually find out, oh man, this isn't right for me. And now you unassign the order. It affects your rating. And eventually that affects you on the platform. Okay, reason number two that you don't want to accept an order while you're driving is tied in to reason number one. Remember that big dollar sign that you saw? Well, you're not able to see... Does that include a tip? Is that what I want to be making per mile? And do I really want to spend the time that it's going to take to earn that payout? A lot of information that you're seeing on the screen, a lot of information about where the pickup is and where the order needs to go. Do you even want to go to that restaurant? Is that a restaurant that is notorious for not having orders ready? Is that a restaurant notorious for not putting everything in the bag that they're supposed to? And now, due to the current situation, a lot of the restaurants are sealing the bags, so we can't even verify the contents. So that is very problematic. And then, of course, number three, again, it ties into the whole, all the information that's displayed. Is this drop-off going to take me to a place or is the route that they're presenting a good one? Do I want to end up where this order is going to go? I can't tell you the number of times that I have grabbed an order because I'm driving down the road trying to get to a hot spot because I haven't been getting orders something comes up, it's fairly large, and it takes me out of my delivery area. It takes me way away from where I want to be, and I can't even pick up any more orders because of where I ended up. So even if you're dual apping, let's say you're doing Uber Eats and Postmates or all three, this can be a problem. If you end up in the middle of nowhere, you're going to have to drive another five or ten minutes just to get to some place where you can pick up an order. So remember, if you're driving along and an order comes in and you're able to pull over, you have about 30 seconds to process that or just let it automatically decline if there's no safe place for you to pull over and process that order. You need to take in all the information and DoorDash is counting on you seeing that number, whatever it is, $7, $8, $9, $20, and saying, I'll take that. And 
even a $20 order could not be worth it if you end up waiting 15 or 20 minutes somewhere to pick up that order. Hey, listen, if content like this is something that you want to see more of, please like the video and subscribe. I really like that. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.